Hey guys, welcome to Dave Video Studio. I'm your host David, and this is my TV name HD. Since Tsunami came back on Adult Swim, I was thinking of another Cartoon Network blog that I enjoyed that I would also like to see return some way. It was considered to be Tsunami's younger sibling since it took its place on weekdays when the former moved to Saturday evenings. Hope you're feeling as nostalgic as I am. I'm talking about Maguzi. I first heard of this in a magazine at school, and it was a new blog coming to Cartoon Network. I had no idea what the story behind this was, but I was intrigued enough to check it out. It premiered in 2004, and years after it ended, I was wondering if anyone else liked it as much as I do. As in, did it get a cult following or something? I looked through DVR and a Tumblr to see how much fan art there was, and... Not... Much. So, does the animation community like Maguzi that much? Or think that it's just okay? Well, let's talk about Maguzi. Maguzi was a Cartoon Network block that started in April 19th, 2004. It's about a young girl named Erin as she goes to an underwater ship full of sea mutants and their robot companions. Okay, honestly, it's not really clear what they are. I know that they were mutated on a ship, but their origins were never fully explained. Also, their species name was never revealed in the block either. The closest assumption we have is... Maguzi. Which is derived from the Japanese word Mizugi, which means... swimsuits. Also, the Z and the G switch places for some reason, I don't know why. Maybe because it sounded cooler or something. Anyway, on to the characters. Starting with Aaron, a 13-year-old girl who's into sports, music, and cartoons. Big Socks, the strongest mutant as well as the least intelligent, but has the biggest heart to make up for it. Cliff, the new and uncoordinated resident. Curly, the most intelligent, quiet, and reserved member of the crew who can't breathe air. Yoke, his spunky and telekinetic little brother, more on him in a moment. Trey, the dog of the group. Wolfer, a shy and clumsy bass speaker. Tweet, a small but brave Tweet speaker. Remo, a laid-back walking remote control that controls many parts of the ship. Dr. Monitor, a mischievous TV monitor who plays the cartoons Aaron brings. And Leviathan, the giant red monster that takes Aaron into the underwater ship. There are two more characters included, such as this little pink guy and this old man who talks like a pirate named Old Salty but their roles aren't that major. The shows they start off with are Totally Spies, Code Lyoko, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, no, not the CGI one from Nickelodeon, this one, and Teen Titans. There are more shows that get added later on, but I'm sure you get the idea. Anyway, on to Yoke. There's this contest to add a new character called the Maguzi Make a Masterpiece Contest, where you can make up a new character to be added on the block. I entered it, but didn't win. Instead, the winner was Kyle Spears of Sacramento, California, whose character Yoke won. So Kyle, if you're watching this, then congrats, man. One thing that did take me off was that Aaron just one day disappeared from the bumpers, and it was just the Maguzi Monsters. The reason why is because... It's budget got slashed. <sighs> yeah, they didn't even give her a proper goodbye or anything. She just up and disappeared. Then in June 2007, the block officially ended. And there are barely any traces of it left to this day. And that begs the question. How many people out there like Maguzi enough for it to return? Would you guys want it back the way it was? A TV series? Or something else? For me, a TV series would be more interesting because the characters seem interesting enough to have their own show. And I would like to see more of their personalities and the world they live in. I see this as a sci-fi comedy with Aaron and her friends exploring the mysteries of their seaside town in California. Here's the elevator pitch for it. Do you remember that one Cartoon Network blog that aired back in 2004 called Maguzi? Let's bring it back as a TV series about that girl and her mutant friends exploring their seaside town. Not bad, huh? Also, who else knows what others of their kind are lurking deep beneath the sea. And who else knows about the Maguzi monsters other than Aaron and Old Salty? Who could be your main villain, whether it be human or monster? See where I'm getting at? So, if Cartoon Network were to bring it back, I'd be all for it. 
But since the CGI version suffered from a budget cut, I think it'd be safer to go with a 2D format, make it a TV series, and see how well it goes. So what do you guys think? Do you want Muguzi to be revived? Do you want to just remain in the past? Or are you just indifferent? Okay, that's about it for now. Thank you guys for watching. I'm David, sign out. Till next time, folks. Stay tuned and stay close. Oh, ah! oh! oh, holy mother, what was that? Okay, then I'll go check it out. You stay here. Hmm. Never thought I had to go back in here. It actually looks fairly clean. Huh? Um... Hi?